everyone, I'm Nishtha and today we'll be learning how to grow pudina or mint. Uh, mint has a lot of benefits. It has been part of our human diet since the Roman Empire and uh, it soothes your tummy. It is, it has excellent flavor. It is, you know, decongest your system. So it's a very useful plant to grow. It's a very useful herb. So growing pudina is very, very simple. And we have two methods of growing this. One is stem cutting and the other is through seeds. Now, stem cutting is the fastest way of growing pudina. So what you do is, from the bundle of mint that you get from the market, pick the five or six thickest stems from the bundle because those have the best rates of germination, okay? So like here, I have this stem. Yeah. Now, what you do is, you need to remove all the leaves in the stem except the ones at the tip okay now be very very careful when you're removing the leaves don't you know pluck them harshly because it will it will rupture the main stem and the germination will be very poor then okay so when you're plucking it be very careful you don't have to pluck it too close to the main stem so leave some gap like this okay so clear out all of this except the ones at the tip. So like here we have, okay. So if you can see, I haven't broken it too close to the main stem, okay. So when you have this ready, so pluck all the all those except the ones at the tip. And at the base, you see it's usually dried up because uh, you don't know when the you know the market has sourced it so what you can do is take this edge off a little bit okay so that you have the fresh part of the stem now how do we cut this not at a horizontal angle but at a 45 degree angle now this 45 degree angle is necessary because it increases the surface area of the stem and thereby it absorbs more water so what we do is we put this stem in a glass of water okay and uh, what happens is you have to make sure that the base of the stem does not touch the base of the glass because that will increase the chance of rotting of the stem. So what we usually do at home is we take a piece of cardboard like this and we pierce it with hole and we insert the pudina stem in it. So this makes sure that the stem of the pudina is not touching the base of the glass. I have also put one clove or uh, long as we call it in Hindi. Why? Because this has a lot of antifungal properties and make sure that the stem does not rot. Now if you are piercing multiple holes for multiple stems in one glass, make sure that they are not closely placed together because rotting in one will create a multiplier effect in the other stems. Okay? So you have this ready, you have this setup ready. Make sure you keep it in indirect sunlight and in a place that is not too windy. Now a lot of people keep this on, on top of uh, their refrigerators or microwave but what happens is that the surface of the refrigerator or microwave heats up causing the plant causing the stem to rot so avoid those places and keep it in a cool place where there's indirect sunlight and make sure you're changing the water every two to three days because if the water starts becoming stagnant your stem will rot again okay so once you have this setup ready, you will see in a few days, roots have started to develop. Now once the roots are developed, it is a good time to transplant it into a bigger pot. Now what kind of pot do we need for a, a mint to grow? So first of all, you need a horizontal, you know, horizontal um, pot because the roots are not too long, so they don't navigate too much too deeper into the soil. So horizontal base is good to go. Uh, even like this one we have here is you know of this much depth okay so now what goes inside the potting mix the potting mix is in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 5 parts of red soil 3 parts of sand and 2 parts of compost or cocoa peat now once you have the soil mix ready in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 5 red soil 3 sand and 2 compost or cocoa peat keep the potting mix ready sprinkle some water at least a day before you you are ready to transplant it to the pot okay 
so once you start you see the roots have started to develop it is ready to transplant uh, so what you do is you pierce holes into the pot and insert it into the soil and sprinkle some water do not pour a mug or can of water because that is too much for the stem to bear okay uh, sometimes what you see is multiple roots will develop at the nodes like you see here it's developed it's developed here it's developed here so what you can do is instead of placing it hot uh, instead of placing it vertically in the soil you can place it horizontally okay now what this does is it will create multiple stems shooting from different places at the nodes okay now once you've placed the stem into the soil make sure that it is kept in indirect sunlight make sure you keep checking the moisture level and sprinkle water again don't you know pour in a mug of water because that's really harmful for the plant and that is how you grow pudina okay now how do you harvest pudina what you do is if you have suppose pudina like this or actually we have grown one here how much ever you need use a sterilized scissors and just take that much off no need to pluck the entire plant out of the pot because we need to regrow it right so just how much ever you need for your household use and let the remaining be inside the pot and this can be regrown okay now uh, things to remember while growing mint is that um, grow it in a container don't grow it on the ground because it has invasive properties if you grow it on the ground it will grow so rapidly that it will take over your entire garden okay the other thing to remember is it has a lot of strong aroma so you don't have to worry about pests attacking it you don't have to worry about growing a companion plant with your pudina because um, again like i said it's invasive it will take over the nutrition of the other plant so grow only pudina in the pot that you're growing pudina in okay and uh, that's about it uh, if you want to grow pudina from seeds what you can do is you can let the pudina grow and it will develop a seed pod okay and uh, once the seed pod is developed you can collect those seeds dry them and you can sow them and again the same process is repeated now if you live in a place which is uh, you know which uh, which has a lot of rainy uh, you know rainy season or if you are currently experiencing rainy season you don't have to go through the method of placing the stem in your glass of water you can what you can do is directly take uh, say a seed tray place sand in it and just insert the stem there insert the stem inside the sand and uh, it will receive it will absorb moisture from the environment and the roots will develop and then you can transplant it into a bigger pot okay so this was about growing pudina it has a lot of excellent properties so please and it's very easy to grow like like i've been telling you it's very easy to grow so please do try it at home um it has a lot of benefits and you will not regret it thank you